G'day there guys. This is going to teach you about the ambiguous case of the sine rule. So we've got this shape here. Okay, we've got a triangle where the bottom line is the black one and the other set side is this red one here. So if we knew this angle in here, okay, the angle up the top here could be either an acute angle, so it could be between the red and the blue, or it could be an obtuse angle between the red and the green. And that's why it's called the ambiguous, because we're not sure which one it is. Because if I grab my ruler and I measure the green line, you can see that that's just about three centimeters. And then I measure the blue line as well, that's about the same, it's about three centimeters. So if we know this is about three centimeters, and we're trying to work out this angle, it could be either the green line or the blue line and still be three centimetres long. So we need to talk about which is going to be which. So you use the sine rule the way you normally would. Alright, that doesn't change. The difference comes when you work it out and you need to be aware of what you're looking at. So most of the time in the question they will say in an obtuse triangle okay so they'll use the word there obtuse triangle and your calculator okay your calculator only works it out calculator only works it out the acute angle all right only works out the acute angle so if you're trying to work out the obtuse angle you need to do 180 minus the calc answer. Okay, that equals the obtuse angle. So it's the same process as what you've been doing with the sine rule, only sometimes it could be either the small angle or the large angle, and you guys need to work out which it is given the question. All right, and it's normally in the question. So when you're working through 8F, sometimes it'll say work out both. Other times it'll say work out only one, but will tell you which one it is. Okay, the other trick that you might need to be aware of, and I haven't checked the exams for this, but I'm pretty sure it's something that they would do, is they would draw you a triangle like this, say with the green, red and black lines, and then ask you to find this angle up here. And what your calculator will do is it'll work out the acute angle. And then you, as a student, and as someone answering that question, needs to realize that, well, that's the acute angle. I need to make sure I do the obtuse angle and do this next step. So keep your eye out for that when you're doing practice exams, because I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to be doing.